You guys had plenty of time there. And you're there with the move map skill. Where? It's this one. Um, oh, okay. That's where they live. And these are buildings that have like fallen down in the background and now provide convenient land bridges and shit. The whole thing, as you can see, is inside like a valley type area. Um, so, yeah, looks like a huge pain in the ass. And all the the mountain stuff here, and uh, not all of it's just rock. There's also a lot of debris and shit. It's all ready to fall down into here. So eventually, the whole thing may just solve itself by nicely sealing itself off. So we're thinking that it's inside of like these. Oh, totally. You saw death claws coming into and going out of that thing as well. And when we were flying around, were like they all distracted and trying to come up to where we were at? Or not all of them. No. Going about their business. Uh, no, and all of them were kind of paused. Like, what's this? They they seem to be. Uh, oh, give me evidence analysis rolls, everybody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, right. The two just succeeded in theirs. Rock and Freddy. <laughs> you guys are thinking smart dog level of intelligence, and Doc Foam's going. The ones we saw are, there could be smarter ones. Dun, dun, dun. Did you say they had some kind of hive um, organization? Like there's a matriarch? Yeah. Yeah. And, and worker bees and, yeah, and fighters. We, we, were, we were dealing with the worker bees. There's going to be soldier, bee, soldier ants, too. Hey, grab a card, Russ. Okay, um, Logan, can I have the truck card table back up? I played Virtuoso, so that, I don't really have five cards in my hand. I'm taking up the bagpipe. I like that kind of move, yes. Very nice. Uh, card table? Oh, sorry, I thought it did. Hold on a minute. Yeah, and... you did, and then it went away. <laughs> there, try that one. Multi-kill. Play before shooting. Player does not have to split percentage, hit multiple targets. Max of 180 degree field of fire. No, it may be used with Death God for nasty effect. Oh yeah, you you combine that with that fucking heavy laser thing, then that's some that's some shit there. At least for one round. Yeah. I mean, it, I, I'm not saying you're gonna kill them all, but you could damage a lot of them. What would make them go away? That is the question. I'm but thinking. Thanks. I'm thinking. We put a clean rock in there instead of a radioactive rock, and they go, "Oh my God, it's not radioactive. We better get away from that." <laughs> just come in there with like all kinds of cleaning fluid and just start spraying mm. them. Oh. Ooh, that's yeah, like a goop sprayer. <laughs> that, that, how how uh, viscous is that? Is that radi anti rad gel stuff? Uh, that may hurt them. It, it, did you ever play that green goop shit when you were a kid? Do you know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah, it's like yeah, that. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay, so there's no way to pump that through a nozzle. Ah, uh, no. No, that, that would just kind of like come out like Play-Doh. Um, yeah. But yeah, they might be vulnerable to that if we could if we could jury rig some uh, some goop grenades. Possible. Your your guess is uh, based on what you've just seen of them. It would probably just irritate them and make them slimy. Mm -hmm. uh, says Freddy. Also, another thing, I, I know that we're not doing this, but they may be resisting. If there's anything like the death claws that we have heard about, mm -hmm. they may be resistant to lasers. Lasers. Yep. Lasers, yeah. Yep. Yep. That is a thing. I've played lots of Fallout, all four of them, and New Vegas. Um, yeah, I think the only thing that might make them all run away is Alex Kimley. Even that? Mm. No, 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 they'd be terrified of Alex. I, I think this would be a fucking, if, if he wanted to go in and go uh, hard guy, I think it would definitely be a challenge for Kimley. Yep. A big challenge. Yeah. I, yeah. I I don't think he would relish it because uh, either way he'd be out of pause at the end, whether yeah. he's dead or not. So I don't think he'd be up for that. 
I mean, yes, it's tempting to just fucking airdrop him in while he's uh, phasing into the game and go, go get him, Tiger. But, you know, he it wouldn't be joke. happy. It he was wouldn't. a joke that they'd be afraid of Alex. And it's, you know, he's our scariest, I know, I know. He's our scariest character. I, I don't think he could, even he wouldn't be able to, to deal with this that way. Not that he wouldn't like to try sometimes. <laughs> America. Team America could deal with them. Shows them all suffering yeah. from radiation uh, sickness afterward. Fuck and yeah. I... They just dropped the mountain on them. Mm -hmm. Yes. And several other mountains on other innocents nearby. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Exactly. Everything is bald. Bald. There goes the America. loop. What else? Yeah, you you guys have resources from more zones than anybody's wanting to count. So, mm -hmm. I I love that the players not only have access to explosives, but they have some way skill for them. And they're like, no, no, not that, because I'll do bad things this time, because these people suck. But I would like to point out, it's better than going into a fucking cave. Much better than going into a fucking cave. Yeah, I would have fun. been like, fuck you, Logan. This isn't a prestige module. This is like the worst module you've ever run us on. <laughs> I'm not saying that this one isn't a little challenging. Yes, this is very, very challenging, sir. Uh -huh. We're up to it. We'll, 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 we'll take care of this. Nice. I think. Nice. It might be. It might be. It might be safer to put up with the Amberites trying to kill us. Anyway. Uh, uh, <laughs> it just. It just shows one like go by an horse and phrase like, huh? <laughs> like the it, just like the historian in the the uh, Holy Grail. That would be fucking hilarious. Aha, uh -huh, chap. <laughs> They just keep riding and Fry's like, but I parried. Yes, your sword's over there and there, and you got peace in your hand. Yay. <sighs> Yay. Oh. Oh, fuck. Yay. Yeah, the best one I've got is set up some elaborate landmines and then try to attract them somehow and trip, trip them up in some very high explosives outside of that area. <clears throat> the other one is a fat boy. We can find a fat boy. A fat boy? See what happens when you say fat boy? His lights go off. Yeah, fuck you and your lights, Freddy. We'll get you a nice desk light, buddy. Yeah, it's, it's gradually getting darker and darker for him. I know. He's just it, nobody loves him is why. I just keep thinking that every time his lights that go light on. Comes out, yeah. Yeah. I blame Logan. It always happens when you're around. It's so dramatic too. It's like I think I this and the lights go out. Fuck. Um Fuck. Uh only we had a light grenade. That would be awesome. <laughs> What's a light grenade? A grenade of light? Is it Better. just like a flashbang? Or... Better. Chris, I'll let you explain it to him. Isn't that what you pick it up and then you die? Uh-huh. No. Oh. It has a little sign on that says, pick me up. And when you yep. do, you simply disappear and all your gear and clothes fall to the ground. Yep. We lost. 50, 60 different people to one once. We had to call in reinforcements. <laughs> no, if only we could teach the death clause to read. Right. That 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 will that will take some time. Then you would just marinate it in like some kind yeah. of like meat or something. And Put it in a steak, yeah. Out, and they'd all yeah. try to eat it and just disappear. Yeah. Yeah. Stick it in a steak, or even just like make it smell like a steak. They're not that smart. <coughs> start licking it. So how do we get one of those? Oh, how do you how do you deploy one of those if touching it makes you disappear? <laughs> right. Well, you have to activate it, and then that's what uh, you have, if you have, okay. once you pull the pin, then there you go. Then then nobody's moving that thing. Got it. 
I've devolved into singing, so. <clears throat> well, we can always look to see if there's any other ways to get in there. We didn't um, none none that there. you noticed. Um, it, although, like I said, it is possible to literally fly in through the front door at height, but it'll put you into the, they may just be able to barely snag you, unless there's a bigger one in there. Um, then so that one been... might be able to snag you. I, I I can guarantee you there's a bigger one in there. Yeah, I'm sure there is. Yeah. I, I bet you I bet your mom of Deathclaw is sitting on this fucking armor. <laughs> it shows it shows mom of Deathclaw like uh, it's it's got the armor under its butt and it's doing the scooting around on its butt thing that dogs do. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! It just shows the PCs going the fuck this dude. All right, let's. Well, there, there is, there is, uh, like, uh, uh, no, I'll let you guys come up with ideas. Oh, it looks like Freddy's, uh, it looks like not only did they turn off his lights, but they turned off his computer. Oh, I did find another picture here for something else for you guys. So sorry. Uh, in fact, I'll even let everybody take a card since I'd forgotten this other picture. Uh, it's the head-on view of what you were seeing from the uh, side. There you go. Oh, okay. Uh, don't know if that helps or hurts. How many meters are those arches? Um, let's see. Your guess is around... Mm, probably about eight, eight-ish meters tall. Okay. okay, so not very big at all. Well, pretty, pretty good size. Maybe a bit more. Yeah, eight to ten meters. That's that's like close to thirty feet. It's I know, I know. Further it's a story, than one fall. It's, um, you know, I'm thinking about flying the air car in there. And, and oh, yeah. Know, well, like that. I said, it, it, for the rigor death claws, they would, it'd be an extremely difficult jump to get you. But for if there was bigger ones in there, then it would be a hard jump to get you. And if there was some giant uh, Godzilla size uh, uh, thing that could shoot electricity out of its mouth, like Doc told you about, it could simply lean down and use your air car as a butt plug. Yeah. Which is always, you know, if you had to die, that is how you'd always wanted to go. Giant butt plug. That's right. Mm. Yeah, that's well, you know, that's probably Freddy's. Yes. Yeah, that would be Freddy's ironic if that's how Freddy uh, uh, did it. You know, it would definitely be a memorable death for him. I'm sure that he would be sure to tell all of his other gaming buddies. I died in this campaign by getting turned into a butt plug and rammed up a monster's ass by the monster itself. That would be a story that he would tell and retell. And it would grow in the yeah. telling as did the size of the butt plug. Yeah, well, Doc, we know there are bigger ones than we just fought because we were told about that by, um, I think, Janice, actually. Mm -hmm. Out on the farm? Ah. Oh. Yeah. We brought her some goods. Yeah, she told yeah. us that the smaller ones came up, but that there are bigger ones. I think she's the one who told us that. Okay. I know somebody did. So, wait. So, how tall are those arches, did you say again? Eh, call it 8 to 10 meters-ish. I mean, yeah, if you want to go out there with a tape measure and shit, I'll give you more exact. But right now you're guessing around 8 to 10 meters. All right, so they're looking like they're about 3 or 4 meters wide then. Yeah, that's why I was giving him a roll at half if he was going in fast. If he was going beep, 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 really slow, then it would be, you know, full. 
I mean, sure, it looks like the stone may be a little bit crumbly and all that, but that's just to add to the ambiance of the place. Because if you have to take on a monster's lair, this is the kind of lair you should take on. And of course, as soon as we got there and they saw us, they were all scrambling around, right? Oh, God, yes. It, it was like yeah. something... Some it, they, they scrambled around like the PCs at the thought of treasure! Oh, also, from uh, Freddy and Russ, give me memory rolls as there is something that, uh, again, you'd forgotten to mention the Doc Fulton. Well, we know that there was one, but yeah, but I don't care. Oh. Well, the Doc Fulton's there. We know what, I don't care. Well, I want the Doc armor. might care. Doc uh, might care. The dot the if you bring back a head, it's worth fifteen gold apiece. There. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We don't care. Well Doc we might care. Doc likes money. Everyone likes money, but not when it's I mean, there's several yeah, I mean, hundred gold scrambling the, around there, Doc. There's the <laughs> four we killed. Right? Yeah, we're not gonna that there. That's worth sixty gold right there. See? I mean, worst comes to worst, if we decide to pack it in, we can go out and get those guys' heads and at least get 60 gold out of this. And then we can bring the gold to uh, Shermer, get some chickens, bring the chickens to uh, to Gurry and get some Gurry creds. Yeah, the price has gone down, by the way. Chickens? Yeah. We'll have to find something else they need. Maybe toilet paper. We'll Not too much. There's a chicken farmer there now. No, it's because Glenn and I sold a bunch. It's not going yeah, down too it has much. nothing to do with someone that now has a chicken farm there, I'm sure. Well, and that, and that. It's not going down too much, it's just a little. Okay, so we bring something else that's valuable to Gary. People. Yeah. We'll figure something out. Anyway, um... So far, horses is the good one. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was pretty good, and we just bring them stallions so they can't breed them. Wait, was it we should probably put that mares? on the boards. Only bring stallions to Gurry, so nobody brings any mares over there when we get across purposes. Yeah, yeah. That would be a clever post. Yep. It would even be more clever if somebody was to read your clever post. It would yes. even be more clever if somebody was to remember that they read your clever post. It'd be even more shot. clever if they didn't go, you know, fuck it, the, these other horses are slightly cheaper. <laughs> All right, what do you think? Because this is amber armor, I doubt it'll be destroyed if we blew up the building. All right, if we blew up the building, here it is. Yeah. Then what are we going to do? We're going to get some miners out here to mine through all the rubble that's mm -hmm. in the radiant. Then we blow up the rubble. We just keep blowing everything up until, like, we see shiny bits and then go get it? <laughs> Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> let's let's just let's just keep the bad ideas flowing, because I mean, yeah. when we're, we're so, sitting here going, hmm, we're not getting anywhere. So, is there anything? That, so they have good senses of smell, but is their sense of sight really well good too? Yeah, the expert, we you tell me. Perhaps sneak in there. Can I get a crypto on that shit? Uh, you, you pretty much expended uh, a lot of your knowledge of these things. Uh, they, they, oh. you're not sure if they, if they hunt by sight, uh, or if they can feel tremors through the ground or smell or all three. Uh, they seem to be really amazing killing machines though. I'm guessing tremor sense. Well, can't sometimes. we go back to Gothic and ask anybody else about it? Like, is there any hunters oh, there? We did. They don't we, know. We did. They, yeah, these are like a new thing. But we can try again. Maybe you have some, somebody better to ask. Do you have any contacts in Gothic? Not really. Okay. I haven't been around there in a while. Yeah. I wasn't sure if there was like an actual hunting club or anything like that. Oh, maybe. Well, yeah, no, it's know, generally... Hunting guild? I believe there used to be when magic was still around. They'd go around and flying cars and pew 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 and take their heads, go back. But ever since magic went tits up, and 
people haven't been doing that anymore. Well, I know that's like I know like there's no longer a mercenary guild, but yeah. I mean, I mean, they might, we, we didn't like go all the way into Gothic, we just went to um, Bakersfield, where the person was who hired us, or mm -hmm. hired the mercenary group to take care of the death claws. She told us everything. Dun, dun, dun. I do like the idea of just somehow lifting the entire roof off the place with a magnet, but I doubt we'll be able to do that. It did look like stone to you. Yeah, well, not magnet, but just like... Oh, big fucking rock. To... Yeah. That would be pretty remarkable. Because if we can get access from above, at least we'll be able to see in and potentially spot the armor. Well, you could get, you could hover over them while they're trying to eat your ship and your face and stuff. Well, I mean, from a from a distance. Uh, so long as there's no roof in the way, we might be able to see at least the layout of the area. If you look at the picture, the roof looks like it's, you know, you'd have to relocate yeah. a decent chunk of mountain yeah. and rubble and shit. That's what I'm saying. It would be nice to do it, but... Yeah. Oh, well, it'd be nice if you were able to magic the armor out from under them and into your hand, too, but... Hmm. I'm sure if that could happen, they like, the family already would have done that. Uh. If raising one... Um... If raising one is like having a pet, I wonder if it's possible to like feed them and make ourselves unattractive food, but give them like bring. A, I don't know how we could. This is a dumb idea. Um, bring a bunch of cows in. I mean, I can do that. Bring food, yeah. Like okay. dump off a bunch of food, and so then they all go for the food, and then we run in there and. Yeah. Now that might oh. work for the workers outside, but it's not going to work for all of them. Right. Another thing we could do is we could get in there and try to find where their eggs are and to, like take an egg hostage and then mm -hmm. like make our way in there. And maybe they won't attack us if we have their eggs because they'll be afraid that we're going to kill them. Yep. Yep. Okay. And another thing is depending on just how intelligent they are, we might be able to just talk to them. No, dogs. He said dogs. No, no. The work of these dogs. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we're going to negotiate with them. Okay, that's an idea. Yeah. No, no, no. If we keep talking, that's better than, again, yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah um, I'm trying to follow my own rules of brainstorming and I'm failing. Does anyone um, speak death call? <laughs> Yes, we all do. We all do a little bit. But... <laughs> Holy shit, the electricity is beginning to fluctuate here. If you lose me, that's why. Okay. Okay. That's a Damn lot it, Logan, that. you, you stole one of our spots in Divinity. Damn you. It's all that. Hmm. Ah, right. Don't worry, um, it will go out soon. Soon. Well, we can get cows there somewhat easily if, if we open up a chump cage and just follow them through. Okay, but remember, you have to be out of a rad suit to use Trump because you can't have the glass yeah. between you and the Trump. Well, you I can't have the, you can't have the suit between you and the Trump. So I if can you've got open a solution up for being in the middle of the glow without a rad no, suit. No, no, no. Okay. I'll open the gate up from a different zone. Oh, and then, like, send a herd through yeah. the gate? Yeah. So we need a sheepdog, is what you're telling me. Mm -hmm. Got to. It shows Doc Fulton dressed as a sheepdog, standing there looking really fucking bitter. I just got 
big Jim Slade. Maybe I can just pull the roof off the thing and chuck it somewhere. <laughs> All right, I got to lose some cards, guys. Um, I only have good cards. Uh, I'm going to keep the equalization protection talisman. So here's what's left. Opponent fails. Blues Brothers. No. Nope. Oh. Multi-kill. Big Jim Slade. Just drop the multi-kill. We're not going to do that. Yeah, that's what I figured, but I'm giving you guys a chance to grab if you got shit. Are you kidding? You could literally damage every Deathclaw you can see with the multi-kill. Yep. I mean, yeah, believe me, that's a lot of death claws. You just sit there with a machine gun and go, I attack everybody. D -d -d roll 42 hits. <laughs> Done. Fuck them. And all of them will take damage. If the, Assuming the gun works, assuming you can hit. Making all these assumptions. But still, oh my god, that's kind of... I'll actually, I'll take the multi-kill just in case. Okay. And The bad guy would like the multi kill. Bad guy can go fucking. Okay, that leaves the Blues Brothers, Nope, and Big Jim Slade. I mean, uh, Blues Brothers is nice too. Fuck's sake. Ah, ha, ha, they heard, fuck your light, Freddy. Um, just go in with. Uh, just give me whichever one you want. I think Freddy needs to get like his own fucking lamps and shit around him and stuff. All right, you take Blues Brothers. Okay. We'll run Christmas Freddy place. in with a big, 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 big bomb that doesn't take buildings down. Yeah. <laughs> That's not how the cars work. It literally says you can't suicide. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, <clears throat> you probably have armor. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are probably armored. Right, the, the workers did. Yeah, the workers did, but yeah. But I'm sure the soldiers did. And like I said, you know, I mean, I watched Aliens, or Alien 3. You know what it took to take out the mother alien. Um, oh. so just dock with his him. fucking putter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if we want to try the laser, the laser repeater gun, whatever, the turbo laser, I mean, then it becomes a problem of how do we get money from Gary? We'll just get some chickens and sell them. I thought you said chickens were depressed. Not that much. It's still worth quite a bit. They're just a bit sad right now. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Somebody had to make that joke. Yes. Um... What was that? All right, so chickens <laughs> come from what? Shermer? No, we can get them in Biskin. I know a guy. Biskin, okay. Yeah. And they're super fucking cheap. Okay, all right. But so, yeah, if, if that's what we're doing. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, I mean, I can multi kill. And I, I, don't, have the, I don't have I the greatest. Have I can love to pay you as well. Yeah. <laughs> that, that give him like two extra attacks. Master kill plus multi kill plus master pay. That is a fucking. Well, master. if we have a vehicle mounted death weapon, guy. if we have a heavy vehicle mounted weapon, mm -hmm. I might be pretty good at shooting it. Yeah, I'm. I'm reasonable. I can hit about half of the time. The only problem, problem, Chris, though. is that you'd also be the one flying the vehicle, unless, of course, somebody else can pilot it just while you're busy uh, doing shit. I'm sure that yeah. one of these guys could be relied on to simply pilot it a bit while you're doing things. Well, no, what can shoot it? What could is possibly go? Can. Yeah, but uh, Doc Fulton might be super duper good at this for all you know. Are you professional at uh, mounted uh, machine weapons? Yeah. Heavy weapons? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I got about a 50-50. So, yeah, Freddy, I'm sure that your piloting will do fine, Freddy. <laughs> Does the thing have an autopilot? No. 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 It's magic. <laughs> Just like his lights are magic. They keep turning off every time I push the escape button on my computer. It is fucking phenomenal. 
Yeah. Because Russians, Russians have hacked your computer um, to control Freddy's lights. Perfect. I'll have to send him some nice gift. Okay, the thing is, we can't rely on the guns from Gobi because they fire la lasers. Mm -hmm. Lasers. So, or lasers, yeah. Laser. And we so, can't rely on an actual 50 cal because gunpowder. Um, Same deal. I'm sure that whoever's firing the gun, I mean, assuming Rock has got a, a fucking massive uh, cock of the 20 willpower, he should be absolutely okay with uh, blasting away with, uh, you know, good chance. Uh, less than that, though, will be rough on whoever's doing it. Yep. It'll probably just jam or explode or something, you know. So tech doesn't work very well here, correct? Uh, it's medium. Yeah, uh, the laws of physics changed after the, um, whatever the hell they called it. It's not super great, but it's not that difficult either. Which is why they uh, all changed to uh, magic, and then the magic started failing, and they all changed to, we're fucked, it's the end of the world. Yeah. <laughs> Which is why you had to go to a whole different zone just to get a fucking flying car, because, you know, they, they were like, ah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it cost me five gold just to get the crisp put back into my glasses because nobody it would cost do it. me seven. Oh, twice. Cost me five. <laughs> Some good shit. <laughs> Freddy's lights go off. No. Oh, just no. <laughs> Hold on, let me press escape. Nope. Yeah. They might have switched you to Russia if you hear us. You could take out those death claws. I bet you our press would reward you. Still have death. I mean, death claw is probably just a name. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm gonna run to the bathroom. All right. Okay. Yeah, let's all take a break. That sounds good. Go for it. <laughs> use my brain. Yes, use that brain. How useful is that, right? So I cheated and asked my kid Elizabeth to come up with something. Um, and the idea she came up with. Hmm? I was going to say, do you want to wait for Chris to get back? Sure. Good point. Are they good ideas? Eh. Reasonable. Reasonable. <laughs> like better that. than what yeah. we were coming up with. I, you know, I left her with the idea that we have to we have to get these things out. A giant magnet. Just pull the armor straight out. <clears throat> well, yeah, I'm curious what the power to weight ratio is on this thing. How much oh, no. can we? How much can we hang off of it and still fly? Ah. Uh. Not a whole hell of a lot. You could you could definitely get a mounted gun on it, but once you get past that, you're into what Logan calls happy fun time. Yep. <clears throat> I mean, you didn't buy like any kind of special custom made thing that takes some time to you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, because Liz's idea was like strap some meat to the bottom of it or hang some meat off the bottom of it from the air. That'll definitely make you more tasty. Yep. And then Does fly it... away <laughs> slightly faster than the death claws. See mm. how many of them we can get to run after the meat. It might get, might get a handful of them, yeah. We know they have, um, <clears throat> they can hear explosions and they come at the call of an explosion. Yes. So we could set off explosions nearby, maybe? Mm -hmm. Could do. 
and get some of them to run off after that. <coughs> we set off enough of them. story of where Rust Monster came from? No. Was it me? Um, no, no, no. It was, it was a D&D game. Oh. Um, <clears throat> we were fighting an iron golem and we were woefully um, woefully un unequipped for it. No, not Imantine swords or anything like that. So I put on a hat of disguise and waved my arms in the air like tentacles and said, I'm a rust monster, I'm a rust monster. I'm coming to get you to make them run off. That's fucked up. <clears throat> and that's where that came from. Yeah, okay. Uh, if we can get a bunch of them into a different building and blow that building up. <laughs> I like it, I like it. Look, mm. we'll go out there, we'll build a warehouse. No, there are, the me. <clears throat> there, are, there are the buildings there, right? Love them? Oh, that plenty. The plenty, but that's... Yeah. There's plenty, but that's the only one that's super close to there. That is... whole. I mean, you if you're strong enough, anything's a wall, or any wall's a door, but... Yeah. I'm going to let you brief Chris while I do something about my sudden fit of uh, apoplexy here. Excuse me. Uh, no problem. Chris, right, so we have a uh, rock solid plan, right? And we're ready to go execute it? Yes, uh, pretty much uh, uh, Russ's plan was to wrap Freddy in bacon and lower him out, and then you skim along, uh, and that that attracts them. And then mm -hmm. they chase you while nibbling on Freddy, mm -hmm. and then you oh, will, that of. makes you the winner. Mm. The ideas we had was just to <laughs> hang some meat out of the <laughs> They run after the vehicle, we shoot them, something. And the other one was to lure them to a different building and blow that building up instead. But again, it's not a all, all of their plans are pretty much overwhelming force. They're sticking with that. They know how to use overwhelming force. They like overwhelming force. They're into the overwhelming force. Logan, the bait was to try and lure them out. I'm, I'm on yes. lure them out myself. Right. Well, I, I, <laughs> I don't I, think overwhelming I, force is going to help here. I, I still think that wrapping Freddy in raw bacon is the way to go. All right, all right. That'll lure them. We'll out. have to we'll have to baste him for a while, but he should cook. He should cook no problem out here in that radiation. I was going to say, yeah, he'll naturally cook. <sighs> Um, Chris, one of the things I mentioned was that they seem to come at the sound of explosions, so we could set off a series of explosions at, at points around the uh, around the area and see if they all come running. The one, you know, the one set of explosions attracted five. Okay, so let's say that we. Using one of our many ideas. Oh, there is plenty Got of some... places for them to hide from air attacks and shit. Mm -hmm. Got some of them to come out. Obviously, not going to be all, all of them. Then let's say we did fly into the building. And let's say that at least the smaller ones don't manage to grab onto us. Right. And let's say by some miracle we do see the armor. How would we get the armor? Oh, that's where the magnet comes in. Actually, nobody's ever done experimentation on that. Never mind. I 
Yeah. It may not be magnetic. Some metals don't attract the metal. They don't attract the magnets. Oh, not not yeah. That that's also true. But I mean, you've never really experimented to see how does it work when you're trying to will something to work. Nobody's bothered to in oh. fucking six seasons experiment with that a lot. So <clears throat> magnets, right? Do they work? Do they even work in Gothic? Because the laws of physics changed. Well, that that as well. And we probably need an electromagnet. Or a really, really accurate grappling hook. <clears throat> yeah. Just latch onto it and pull it out. Come on, Chris, think of something smart. Yeah, smart shit. Yeah, make smart shit go. But that's assuming... Oh, wait, hold on a sec. If they mm. took the dude to eat him, did they eat the armor as well? Because <laughs> if they did, they probably pooped it out. Right, so look for a big pile of shit. Do you think they poop in their homes? Hmm. I mean, most animals don't poop in their homes. So we may not have to go in the mo in there at all if there's a big pile of if they poop and then they move it elsewhere? Like, you said that we saw bones outside. Do... Was there a lot of bones out there? There's enough uh, uh, poop around that you're thinking that they aren't the cleanest animals ever. So, okay, so they don't yeah, have a... Yeah, they're, unfortunately, they aren't giant dung beetles. That would make your life a lot easier if there's just big balls of poop over here for you to steal while they're distracted or by Freddy running around naked wearing bacon that's cooking. Still good thinking, good thinking. I, I, I'm i liking the Freddy um, part of that plan, regardless of whatever plan you go with, him running around with bacon. Did the corpses we did see. Freddy did saw they it still have, again. Did they still have all the stuff uh, on? So what was that? What? Go ahead. Did the corpses still have the armor on just torn up and shit? Um, it was, it, when, when you're thinking of a corpse, I want you to imagine scraps of armor and bones. Okay, so they don't methodically remove the armor and then eat it. They just, yeah, yeah okay. Right, but they left the, they don't eat the armor. Uh, you're thinking, you're thinking you're okay there. There is some light, unlike in Freddy's room. <laughs> so do we think that there's other like hives in the area uh you're not really sure on that could be big city not sure i wish we knew what they didn't like to eat because maybe we could dress it in. oh i see where chris is going with this yes oh, no what about luring another hive yeah 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 hive and then they'll start fighting each other. And even if we give it some time as they're like defending or like they're fighting, like we get them to infight, mm -hmm. kind of watch. And then we can, like, if there's ever an incursion, we can go in. Cause we could take some time yeah. and do this. We don't hate, you know. Yeah. Actually, you know, time is definitely against you. Even while you're just sitting here talking about stuff, you're slowly cooking. Oh, well, well, right. That's true. That's true. You can't sit there and, well, not yeah. anymore. We're, we're far enough away. No, we're no, in suits you're, you're still, you're, right away. you're in a giant radio, radioactive vehicle with radioactive shit in the vehicle. Oh, like, we, okay. Your suits are we still made, radioactive. We're waiting till the next day to do anything, correct? Or are we doing it right yeah, yeah. now? Second. Next you can do it now. Well, if you was want. the Geiger care. counter indicating more radiation than the suits can handle? Uh, nee, it, it's it's not it, it's not a uh, yes no thing. It's more of like a speed limit. The faster you go, the mm -hmm. more danger you're. In. And right now, you're going fairly. You're going a bit faster than you would like. Um, you're thinking, like I said before, if you were to if you want to go in next day or next week or whatever, you should go scrub everything the fuck down. Uh, get several big ass things of viscous fluid. Basically, take half a day scrubbing the vehicle inside and out. Uh, all of your grenades, clean them individually. Your suits, oh, all this okay. kind of shit. So, right. you know, if if you right. want to come back later, otherwise it's like let's go get back in the radioactive vehicle and start up the cooking and then take it into more radiation. Yay! You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That and thing's got to be that thing's got to be glowing pretty hard at this point. If we're if, if it's if it's the level of radiation, I think it was at the city. It's not good. No. And we estimate, given the size of the building, how many would be able to roughly fit in there? I showed you a picture and gave you a scale. So what do you think? How oh, far into the much. how far into the mountain do you think that built or mountain, which is not just dirt, it's also other buildings that form how far okay. in do you think it goes? What is your that's estimate? The, the mountain does it go into the mountain? Who knows? It, it it built into it, so it very well could. I'm figuring about the size of the Sistine Chapel. Hmm. Don't worry if, if you this... bring the building down then billionaires will suddenly shit money to repair it in order to get some immortality. If this used to be a city, there might be old maps or schematics of it, and we may be able to find out what that building actually is. Give me a current, give me, that's a good thought, but give me a current events or history at full for Gothic San Angeles uh, stuff. No. Cool. So is that is that a specific history of Gothic San Angeles skill? Yeah. Or just history? No, it's it's specific for there because oh. every every history is different. Yeah, I got it. Cool. You're thinking yeah. that I got it by half. Nice. <laughs> uh, with with the exception, yeah. Be sure to write in your new skill and take a check and learn if you'd like. Uh, you're yeah. thinking that with the uh, exception of whatever's in the private library that I believe is near the health and I'd have to double check that that um, pretty much uh, almost all of their information was lost because everything was online and right. they, they had gotten gone paperless just like the current fear is in our own society how much would we lose if the internet and all electronics stopped which, you know, there's probably going to be another coronal um, ejection. So it's something some point, to look so. forward to. And that's going to be fun. Oh, yeah. I've always wanted to starve to death or get killed by a rape gang. Just like the way Freddy wants to go. Although Freddy's going to be killed by creatures that can only exist in the dark because he is now in the dark. I do think that trying to lure other creatures mm. to them would be a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Maybe. Awesome. Yeah. If if there's any anywhere close to these, which given the number and fierceness of these and all that, you have severe doubts. Yeah, that's true. They have a big range too. I mean how many how many freaking kilometers were we from uh, from the, the the heart of this thing on uh, the map? Probably uh, when when you first encountered some, you mean? Uh, yeah, from where the soldiers were killed in the desert. That uh, location, over a hundred. Over a hundred kilometers. Yeah, they have a they have a big range. Big range. Well, they can literally move twice as fast as people, and don't appear to have a lot of concerns about camping out and stuff like that. If something bothers them, they just rip it apart and eat it. Much as Freddy's lighting and wiring has been ripped apart and partially eaten by Freddy in a fit of pique. It was just high spirits that he was going through that day. I'm now imagining Freddy chewing on the fucking wiring and his parents coming in saying, Stop it! Stop chewing on the wiring! Freddy. Um. <laughs> Sorry, it's just fun for me. To imagine you literally biting through the plaster of the wall to get to the wiring. Okay, there is one thing we can try. I doubt it'll work, but it's a thing we can potentially do for a little bit more of information. There is a uh, drone that we have in mm. storage in the embassy. Take a card, which, a drone. That's some thinking there. Which I can fly and have a look at something. Sure, we had to clean it up when it came back, but uh Yeah, I need to charge it, but that's fine. I don't go to do that. So 
let's go step by step here because I don't know how you guys are going to do what you're wanting to do. But right now you're in the radioactive bus, magic bus. What's your step one? Get clean. Okay. How? Where do you go? Well, uh, you go outside of the radiation zone. Pop no problem. I don't even need a flying roll. Uh, Chris, give me a navigation roll at uh, plus 20%. Oh, back to where we were originally. I figured that. Got it. Thank God for the plus 20%. All right. You guys land and rock. Give me a luck roll. Lower is better. Basic. The refrigerator, as you guys called it, has gone. Eh. Not whatever. Everybody give me a shadow lower roll. Fumble. You believe that it's looking for Freddy. It didn't see him before. It's coming to get him, Rock. Freddy, okay. that thing is attuned to you. It's it's hunting you. What? <laughs> it's hunting you. You're being stalked. You are the prey. That's not true. Uh, Freddy, uh, you're thinking that there might be something up with the uh, the shadow, some sort of instability or something. Chris, since you made your shadow lower by half, you're thinking that, just imagine, it's kind of like the old library painting when, you know, it was all good and then it kind of got rolled up and then uh, some of the paint came off and then it was unrolled and it's still kind of splotchy so right now you're thinking that because the shadows of this area were ruthlessly fucked with that there exists a lot of inconsistencies and uneven spots and a lot more weird shit is going on and you're thinking that the repair crews are not coming to save it so this could create more issues in the future unless somehow somebody is able to fix it hey um do or, we have a, a we, do we have an area we can gate these things to bait them through the gate what what things the the death plus i can only get so many before i pass out i was gonna say yeah, plus you no. have to stand next to it and hope they want to go through the gate as opposed to eating your bacon wrapped ass yeah yeah well, what are you thinking? I was thinking, you know, find some wasteland area or something where there's no population. Put a bunch of cattle there. Open up a gate to that bonanza and see how many of them run through the gate and leave. I don't know if anybody has the ability to make a stable I gate. I with that, but... <clears throat> it's clever. I'll give him a card just for clever because he's thinking outside the bun. Much like Taco Bell. Eat Taco Bell and blast your ass. I'm going to chuck the tra trapping plus 20. Anybody can pick it up if they want to. Mm -hmm. so or you're outside you know, of the radioactive area, sitting in your radioactive suits and your radioactive car next to your radioactive grenades next to you. Yeah, the, the plan to get the radiation was to get out of the suits, run the gurry, bring back vats, and start washing stuff immediately. Yeah, pretty much. Do you want to do that? Oh, wait. Before we do that, because <laughs> I don't want to advance time. Like, we're... Yes. No, no, yeah, yeah, exactly. Shows the death claws <laughs> working on hatching more eggs. Come on, hatch, hatch. We need more death claws. We need baby death claws. Oh, yeah. Let's hold the baby death claw hostage. Ooh. See, so this is another one of my thoughts, though. Um, mm -hmm. So they also track by scent, right? Maybe. Probably. So maybe if we do, if we use something that, like, messes with their scent, like something that we can go in with, like, that messes with them like we could go and even experiment a little bit like like do they not like light like oh experimentation 